right so the question is is how well does a Honda Rancher uh, plow snow well so far I'm, I'm really impressed with it I uh, have plowed really twice now the first time was about 12 inches that settled to about 8 and then today I plowed what was about 6 inches that was about a medium density uh, a little bit heavier snow and uh, so I feel like I've got a pretty good idea of it it's done really well um, if I were to go back and do it again, I would have gotten a 50 inch plow. That is a moose plow that's on there that I did get second hand, uh, which worked out real well. Um, and yeah, it's done really well. I think the limitations of it is about a foot. Um, if it's real powdery snow, you could probably feet. Um, it pushes it just fine. But I think in reality, if you've got a foot of snow that's uh, snowed through the night and settled, I think you, you're going to be pushing the edge then. I think chains would change that and would allow you to go a little bit more than that. And then obviously a wet snow, I think six to eight inches of wet snow, you, you'd be best to get out and knock it down as quickly as you can. Um, but I like it. I think it works well. I don't have much plowing experience and uh, I've had no problems using it. Um, and I think on a smaller property, on a normal person's property, it might even be better than owning a pickup because I have uh, culverts and stuff and I have no problem driving this right into the culvert and pushing the snow further down. Um, oh, my driveway's probably 500 feet all the way down to the end maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> um, and with that and the couple of areas that I have around to try and keep the area around the house somewhat cleaned up and so if people need to come and park and drive and to clear that out so I can park my truck and have another area where if I have to push snow if I run out of space I've got plenty of places to push snow um, it's done really well <clears throat> going back like I say I would have probably gotten a 50 inch plow um, also I might have gone with a disconnect when I bought it I was concerned about how much uh, abuse the front disconnect ones the quick disconnect ones would have worked I'm um, looking back now I probably would have done it I don't I guess I've never really heard of there being any problems and now that I've done it I just don't feel like there's a huge amount of pressure being pushed on the foiler not as much as I thought there would be now I think if you're mashing into snow banks these would probably be better because if there's a failure it's going to be through those little bolts on the bottom um, and then the di quick disconnect would allow so if you just want to pull it off and go four wheeling um, you could very easily which now I just I wish I would have waited longer to put the plow on. Now that the plow's on and the snow's in, it's not possible for me to go four wheeling up here anymore. Um, there's a good foot of base down. So, but yeah, I think it's uh, an excellent apparatus. I, I think um, it's plenty fine for a homeowner. Um, I think or a lot or something like that would definitely work real well. I think if you were on asphalt, you'd even have a better chance because you could actually put the blade all the way down without skates and really mash on it. But yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's great. I think the the 420 is more than enough to push it. Um, I will get chains. Today it was a little slick under everything, um, and it's normal plowing. It did just fine, but when I was trying to push the heavy stuff back, like when I was trying to clear these areas that had built up pretty good um, from the wind drift, where it was about a foot, I had to I had that area in particular because I had really before when I plowed. I uh, I didn't push it as far back as I should have because I was being lazy, but yeah, all in all, she's uh I think it's a great great thing. I think it's a good combination. I'm glad I did it. And uh, yeah, in case you were wondering, yes, it is a pink tow truck.